I'd be interested, Dan, in, in how you feel um, Richie is distinguished when he's on the field. What makes him different in, in terms of scoring and body and quickness and all that? Uh, Richie has incredible instincts. Um, he's got incredible instincts. He's got great hands. Um, he uh, he just understands the game, knows where to be and when to be there. Um, he he uh, compliments uh, some of the other guys we have out there very well. Um, and uh, he's, he's doing a great job. He's putting a lot of work on his own. Um, you know, that we're doing some, some things that are new to him. And um, he's done an exceptional job of coming up and, you know, watching film with, you know, Coach Hogan, watching film, you know, with, you know, his teammates uh, to really make sure he understands, um, you know, everything that we're doing out there. So um, he's doing a great job, and you know, we think there's uh, still a lot of room for growth there, too. Could you say a word or two about uh, Russ Bull's day? Yeah. Um, Jack was was outstanding. Um, you know, really, really proud of Jack. Um, Coach Greco has been doing an, an unbelievable job with the goalies, coaching those guys up. Um, they've been seeing live shots, um, you know, uh, every other day or so from you know, some of the guys uh, on the team, and uh, that's really been a. Um, uh, a turning point, you know, I think for, for Jack, not that he's been bad, but, you know, he, he has shown us uh, that he is, he's got a very high uh, ceiling and, um, um, and I think he's just starting to, uh, to, to get there, so. Very tight game at the half, and then you come out and outscore him five to two in the third quarter. Adjustments or what was different about that third quarter? Uh, no adjusting, adjustments, uh, just better value for the ball. Um, second quarter, you know, we got really, really sloppy. The ball, you know, there was really no ball movement. We weren't getting it to the backside at all. And um, uh, we just came out, we settled them down at, at, at halftime, uh, talked about, about a few things that they were doing and ways we wanted to combat it. Um, I thought the guys really listened. Um, I was really impressed with our, our second line midfield. Um, you know, Adrian Nash, Kevin Todd, and, and Brett Randall. I think you know Adrian had a goal, Kevin had two goals, Randall had two goals, uh, something something like that. So those guys were instant offense. They they really did an exceptional job, and and I'm really proud of them. Three games at home. Now you take your act on the road, starting with Notre Dame and Duke. Look ahead for me. Uh, we're just, you know, we're, we're just looking to get some rest tomorrow, and uh, um, and then, you know, we need to start getting to know Notre Dame. Obviously, you know, um, you know, we're only focused on one game here at a time. Um, going out to Notre Dame is never easy. Um, you know, they're obviously an, an exceptional team. Um, you know, we've got a few games under our belt, so I think, you know, we've grown up a little bit, um, and uh, you know, we just we're going to go out there and, and hopefully play our game. Uh, Ryan Ankles it looked like uh, Ladbury. Uh, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not even sure, you know, what happened there. Um, you know, the play was up and down. You know, the, the good thing is we have some depth. So, you know, saw him come off. It was short time left. We put somebody else in there. We didn't even think twice about it. Um, you know, as much as we love Ryan and everything that he does for us, there's, uh, there's a lot of guys out there who are, uh, who are, who are willing and can and, and able to, to step in and, and, and do their thing. So. We knew it was a short week, and uh, uh, Navy's a team where if you're not preparing enough, they're gonna they're gonna kick you in the teeth right away. And uh, we knew it was gonna be a hard fought, ba fought battle, um, in and out, you know, up and downs, and uh, great team victory. You know, everyone, the effort was totally there. And one thing we were preaching um, the last couple of days is we've been putting in all the effort, but we need to play smarter. And I think we did that today, and uh, I think it showed on the field. 14 saves and an assist. Your best day and goal this season as a spider? Yeah. Um, you know, I was just seeing the ball well. Um, I was seeing shots that I like to see. Um, you know, our coach says uh, low angle and contested, and I think our defense was doing really well with that. So they made my job easy. You're up, I think, 11-9 in the fourth quarter, and they're making a run, and you stoned them. I mean, the goaltender has the power to stop the run, right? Tell me about that save. Yeah, so, well, the, the goal before, I was pretty upset about when they scored the ninth. I, I, I thought I was going to end the run there. So I knew coming in, I was like, I, I need to make this stop and, um, you know, get get this victory for our team. And uh, I saw him kind of fade down a little bit, and I just followed his stick. And uh, luckily, I was able to match stick and stop it. Now, which are you more proud of, the 14 saves? or the 60-yard assist? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm proud of both, but um, again, couldn't uh, have done it without my teammates, and um, you know, good for them um, helping me out all day, and just a great team victory. All right, last question. You've had three at home, now you go on the road for four, starting with Notre Dame and Duke. Tough, 
tough road trip. Oh yeah, uh, but that's that's exactly the type of teams we like to play. Um, we like to play the best teams in the country because you know we we consider ourselves one of the best as well, um, and it's going to be fun. I uh, can't wait to get up to uh, our lot of stadium on a uh, Sunday. Yeah, um, it's it's unbelievable to be a part of such a great program. Um, we've had we have a lot of depth on this team, obviously, as coach and uh, a lot of people have said. Um, just just fortunate to be a part of this program and uh, get get the win. Eleven goals in three games. How do you explain your start? <laughs> it's uh, it's been a hot start for sure. Um, wouldn't expect it, but uh, just just humble to my take and trying to trying to get the next one. And we're playing six feet in front of our face, so uh, coach always preaches that. So we'll be uh, we're on to Notre Dame now, and uh, we'll see what comes there. What is the advantage of your size in that sort of confined area you work? Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people give me give me a hard time for my size, but uh, I think I think it uh, it really helps me with my shot. Uh, I get to get leverage um, and and maybe see the game in a little higher higher advantage. Um, but just like everybody else, you know, I'm out there working, so yeah, we're doing well. If a team was going to pick a guy to defend. It would be Ryan, not the freshman. <laughs> Do you think that has helped your scoring? Um, you know, Ryan's taken a lot of the uh, a lot of the pressure off of me. I think he had that last year with Teddy, um, and he's been he's been great out there feeding me the ball, and I've been trying to trying to reciprocate the the message. But um, yeah, Ryan's so fun to play with, and he's a he's an unbelievable player. Could you give us the brief story on how a guy from Colorado gets to Virginia? Oh uh, well. Um, so yeah, I went to high school in Colorado, and then uh, spent a spent a post grad year at the, the Hill Academy in in Ontario, Canada, and I uh, was just fortunate fortunate enough to have to have someone like Coach Shamati see me and uh, get here, and it was it's an amazing experience. I've, I've loved every moment of it. Was your post grad year lacrosse related? Yes, it was. Um, yep. Plus, Richmond has done well recruiting Ontario. <laughs> yeah, we got one other Hill kid, uh, Sonny. Jake Saunders, um, he's been a great asset to the team. Got hurt last year, but he's been doing great on on ball defense and off ball, and he's been playing unreal. So, yeah, I love our team. We've been we've been great on both sides of the both sides of the ball. Look ahead to the road trip for me. You've never been to Notre Dame. Nope, I have You've never. never been to Duke. What are you thinking about that? Um, it's gonna be fun. I mean, you always as a kid you grow up watching those teams. Those are two top ten teams that you grow up watching. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be phenomenal to play against those those programs, and I uh, look forward to the experience.